In honor of Mother's Day, we're sharing a very special recipe, red bean popsicles, taught by Mommy Lao for the very first time. Every summer, my mom would make a bunch of these, and every day I'd devour these one by one after hours of playing in the pool. They still taste just as good as I remember, but they hit especially different now that I'm a dad. So I also wanted to take some time to honor two of the most important women in my life. First, we'll learn how to prepare the red beans. Happy Mother's, Happy Mother's Day! Day! I have a one of my favorite snacks, mm. it is red bean popsicle. I ate red bean popsicle since I was very, very little. Aww. And you make for Randy? Since he was three years old, then I made for, made for Randy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can make this red bean popsicle for... For the babies. For the baby and for Hong Dui. Yeah. That's a perfect for summer snack. Mm -hmm. okay. So first, first step. We use the red bean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually we go to Chinatown to buy this red bean. Yeah. Oh, also, you can buy red bean in Stayway Lucky Store. Mm -hmm. We'll measure out four ounces of red beans. Take a look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to see if any are any broken bean inside? Mm -hmm. Oh, you I find, find one. one. <laughs> Bad bean. Yeah, this is the, not the good one. So since it's broken, we just throw that away. Yeah. Only yeah. the best for our children. Yeah. If you broken, the, the quality is changed. Maybe some easy to get molded, the materials get inside. Mm -hmm. So we need the, all the beans with the, still have the skin on, with the shell on. After picking out the broken beans, we'll wash the rest of the red beans. We have to clean the bean for next step. Just use the, 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 the hand stir two times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like rice. Rinse for three times. For me, it just do like that. Ooh. Like this. From the bottom to the yeah. top, from bottom to the top. So make sure your air, all the bean is washing. Nice. Okay, done. Now we'll take out the red beans by hand or just use a colander to drain the water. So now we get 16 ounces of water. Mm -hmm. Does it matter that it's 16 ounces of water? Oh, that not, this, this step is not straight. As long as you... You want to cover it? Cover the, the bean. Yeah. When you sow the bean, the bean get expanded, become more soft. Mm -hmm. It's easy for boiling mm -hmm. and easy for brand the bean later. Mm -hmm. Do you, you put it in the fridge or you keep it out? Oh, just room temperature. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you ever soak it in hot water or should it be cold water? Cold water. Because you, if you soak it in the hot water, sometimes we break the, the bean. Mm -hmm. Not easy to get the whole bean become soft. I see. Just room temperature, put in the counter, put in the kitchen somewhere, then... Go to sleep. Go to sleep, yeah. <laughs> I usually just don't count how many hours in the morning, then I can make the passive mm -hmm. We'll let the red beans soak for six to eight hours or overnight at room temperature. You have beans ready? Yeah. Wow. That's the difference. That's okay, the difference. Let's see, huh? look at the two sizes. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the bean we just washed. Mm -hmm. This is the bean that has been soaking for eight mm -hmm. hours. So you can see the difference, right? The color's different. The color's different. You, you use your, your, your thumb and the index finger. It's broken. Ooh. So after we sew the bean, we wash one more time mm -hmm. before before we do next step. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's wash. Do it. Mm -hmm. Now while Kat rinses and drains the soaked beans one more time, we'll check in on how my mom's feeling with her first time teaching on the channel. How do you like this, mommy? Are you doing a good job? You're doing great, mom. I hope so. Are you having fun? You're doing really good. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so right now the next step is to boil the bean. Okay. Put all the bean inside mm. to pour it inside. It's okay? You don't have to wait for the water first? No, the no. First. because we don't turn on the... Oh, okay. off. For this 4 ounce bean, we use mm. 16 ounce water. You can use hot water, cold water, it's fine. For safe time, we use hot water this time. We'll add 2 cups of hot water here to save time when boiling it. Put the cover on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You turn on high. I just go? Yeah. Okay, we wait for the boiling, okay? Can you use mung beans? Mm -hmm. Which yes, but, but but the name is not called red bean classical. <laughs> yes. Boiling, okay. Boiling. Ooh. So we can lower the temperature. Okay. When it boils, we'll lower the heat to medium low. So you can see a simmering like this, right? Very, very light, slow bubble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stir a little bit, then cover again. Just stir around. Now we'll give it a quick stir, then cover the pot. Okay, cover. For the other couple minutes, we make sure inside have a mild bubble because we want slow cooking. Slow can make the bean more soft mm -hmm. and broken the, the skin shell. Mm -hmm. If it's too fast, the water evaporates yeah. or what will happen? Then you need to add more water when mm -hmm. you brand the, brand the bean. I see. Yeah. Even lower. Even lower? Mm -hmm. Make it lower? Yeah. How do we know that it, if it needs more time or less time? 
Usually okay. after one hour slow spoiling, it's, it's more soft. Since we have to do more steps with the blender, mm -hmm. so that doesn't really have to be care about mm -hmm. still hot. Mm -hmm. While the beans simmer, this is why my mom is such a boss. After our family's restaurant burned down, instead of sulking, my mom dove headfirst into a dream that she put off for years, becoming a nurse assistant. The only problem was, not only did she not speak English, she needed to become fluent in medical jargon. She did have a degree in nursing from her days in China, but the degree was worthless in the United States. So on top of raising two kids, every day she locked herself in our bathroom to force herself to study. She chased after buses to make it to her trainings and certifications. And after all was said and done, she graduated from her program at the top of her class. She went on to devote over 30 years of a career as a nursing assistant, working night shifts, and often after just a few hours of sleep, the day shifts too. Rightfully so, when we talk about immigrant parents, we often honor their intense work ethic. But my mom's story has another level to it. She never questions her ability to do anything she sets her mind to. And this is where I get my sense of bravery from. Because if my mom, a Chinese immigrant who came here with pennies to her name, can throw herself into a new career and find success in every sense of the word, there's nothing I can't do. And as much as she would have preferred me getting a proper engineering job at Google or Meta, she was the one who gave us all the green light to try out this crazy YouTube idea I had. So mom, thank you for everything and happy Mother's Day. After simmering on low for an hour, we can add some more elements to our mixture. We open it. Now the, we need to brown sugar inside. Okay. Yeah. okay, I let you stir around. Okay. We put a young sugar because uh, for the red bean particle, like more sweet, it tastes better. But if you worry about, you don't want to take too much sugar, you always can adjust the sugar amount. Francesca from Patreon asks, what kind of sweeteners fit for red bean popsicle? Any sugar you want, you, you, you prefer, you, you can. But <gasps> the brown sugar is the, the number one, match the taste with the red bean. Can you make this sugar free? Sugar free, yes. But if you don't add sugar, the water ratio is a little bit higher. After the sugar melted in the in the soup, produce water. So the ratio for this popsicle, yes. If you choose to omit the sugar entirely, my mom suggests adding an extra six to seven fluid ounces of water. Okay, now we can cover again. Okay. After we put brown sugar inside, we wait for two minutes with mm -hmm. low temperature. Mm -hmm. This time, just wait for the brown sugar complete melt inside the soup. Mm -hmm. Then after that, then we can add the tapioca starch. After we add it, we can turn off the stone in the same time. While the brown sugar dissolves, we'll create our slurry by mixing tapioca starch and water. One and a half tablespoon mm -hmm. and mix it with one and a half water. After mixing, we'll pour in the slurry. Pour it down like me. this. After you put it in, stir around. Stir. Whoa, stir. it's already adding the yeah. thickness. The, the reason we put this starch in because it can make the particle more smooth. Mm, you can use different kinds of starch if you want. Mm -hmm. Corn starch, potato starch. Shirley from the Kanto Cooking Club asks, is this essentially like red bean soup? You can say it's red bean soup, but thicker than red bean soup. If only the soup, is, you cannot make the particle. You have to have some, some stuff inside. So now you can see it's already become thicker, mm -hmm. so we can turn off the stove. Okay. All done? Yeah, all done. After the soup is thickened from the slurry, or about one minute of mixing, we can turn off the heat. The next step, we are going to almost find that they made the particle. So we just let the juice cool down first. Okay. So usually, probably in an hour. Okay. Okay. An hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kath from Patreon asks, Can you use cooked red beans in a can that are already like paste to make these? Beans? Yes. Skip the sugar and, and uh, if you can add milk or condensed milk or coconut and water. See how much water you need. Sometimes it will be too thick, still okay. It's too thin, just like ice. After the soup is cooled down completely, or after about an hour, we can continue adding our ingredients. This hot bean soup before was really hot, right? Yeah. So right now, after hours, so complete cool down. But we need to add more things. Eight ounces of milk, okay. and then six ounces of coconut milk. We'll add our one cup of milk into the soup. So eight ounces of that, and then for this one, six? Six ounces. Yeah. You actually like shape before. Like at the water in the top, mm -hmm. the stuff in the bottom, so you have to shake. Yeah. The coconut stuff. Mm -hmm. Then we'll measure out six fluid ounces of coconut milk and add it. 
We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. Now we'll stir to mix in the regular and coconut milk. If you don't like coconut flavor, you can replace the coconut milk with the same amount of regular or condensed milk. Usually if I use condensed milk, I was, I, I'm just using the, the no sugar one. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. No sugar, because I, I already have the, the brown sugar, mm -hmm. right? I don't need more sugar. Mm -hmm. Ooh, or if you really looks. like a coconut milk, you can add eight ounce coconut milk, mm -hmm. six ounce regular milk. Yeah, yeah. You can use two percent milk, one percent milk, two percent milk, but I prefer non-fat milk. I'm mm -hmm. not using mm -hmm. too thin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you make it without milk? Yes. You don't have to add milk Party. if you don't want it. Just add Party. more water. Party. You can yeah. do different kind of nut milks too, right? Yeah, you can do almond milk, you can do the oat milk oh, and soybean milk. Yeah, it's they, they are okay. Now anything in the pot is already like a mix. So now we are going to blend the bread bean, bread bean very well. Like a thirty second, um, medium speed. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, put the lid on. Okay. Can you do this with whole red beans, not ground them? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I would do? For in some soups where you want it both. Say like a butternut squash or something like that. You want it half creamy, but you'll still yeah, want yeah. chunks. You blend half of it, yeah. and then mm -hmm. you take the other half, and then you mix in those chunks. So you can have a ratio of, yeah, mixed and blended. Good job. If we can check is anything, it is like a complete mix. Okay. Yeah. You're just trying to see if there's any beans? Uh, yeah. Like all these specks, that's okay? That's okay, yeah. yeah. That's okay. I think it, it, it's good. Yeah, pour some in here first. To make pouring the molds easier, we'll first pour into our measuring cup with the spout. This Pascal mold, I really like it. It's individual. You can take out one by one. Mm -hmm. And also, the stick inside is really long. It's long here and long here. It's easy for the kid to hold it. Yeah. So now we can take all the sticks out. Stick out. The, the line here mm -hmm. can tell you how mm -hmm. much you feel. They feel up to here, this line. So it's really easy uh, to use. Now we'll carefully pour out red bean mixture into our popsicle molds. Okay. Good. Ooh. So I'm That's too much, I should drink it. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we still have a, like a, a half half left. Yeah. Here, and this one. How mm -hmm. much total do we have? One and a half cup. Mm -hmm. I think we still can make maybe four. So I'm gonna put cover in. If you have a mold with built-in sticks, we'll put them on now. We can show you, this is a wood stick popsicle. If you don't have the mold with the stick, like this one. Mm -hmm. So we need to use the wood stick to make popsicle. Mm -hmm. After we fill in the juice inside this part, you can put the stick in because it will folding around. Yeah. So we put this part in the freezer for one hour, then take out. After one hour, mm -hmm. the juice will become harder and harder. Right? Yeah. So the stick put in the center won't folding around. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we've done this step, right? Mm -hmm. we pulled it in. So the next step is freezer. We At least we put in the freezer for six hours. If eight hours, is totally ready. While the popsicles form in the freezer, this is why I love Kat so much. I'm a good brother. I'm a good brother. <laughs> <laughs> are you a good basketball player? Yeah, I'm a good basketball player. You are. Are you smart? Yeah. Are you incredible? Yeah! I'm incredible! I'm incredible! I'm incredible! <laughs> this is Cameron, not even three years old, repeating the positive affirmations that Kat says to him every single day. This is just who she is. Even in spite of a language barrier, she goes out of her way to compliment my dad on his cooking or how fit he is as an 80 year old. She has hour long talks with my mom, which almost always veer into Kat praising my mom on her ability to save and buy two houses and how Kat's becoming more and more like her. And even in the face of the financial instability over the last 10 years of entrepreneurship, Kat's always encouraged me to keep going. She is a big part of why Made With Lao exists in the first place, which we came up with during one of our quarterly retreats, a 12 year tradition where we take a weekend to celebrate, reflect, and set goals. And one day, I imagine when our kids are old enough, they'll join in our retreats too. It's not easy being a full-time mom, but with our kids, somehow she finds the energy to dance and be goofy, to advocate for them and line up every opportunity for them to flourish, and to affirm everything that's beautiful about them. So Kat, I just wanna say thank you for being an amazing mom, an amazing wife, and happy Mother's Day. We, at least we put in the freezer for six hours. If eight hours, is totally ready. Ready to take out, mama? Ready. Mm -hmm. Ready. 
After at least six to eight hours in the freezer, we can try our finished popsicles. Beautiful popsicle for us. <laughs> next, next step, we have to detach the popsicle. What I'm doing it is uh, use boiling water, just pour all over the popsicle yeah. and thaw it. You can also just let it thaw at room temperature for five minutes until it can be released from the mold. Oh, I see it breaking. Mm -hmm. This is if you can't wait, huh? If you're like, see? I need oh, a popsicle yeah. now. <laughs> I want a popsicle now. You want to try it? You try it. You, you, you try it. You work so hard. <laughs> now, the moment of truth. Wow. Now I'm mm. I need it too. Mmm. Mm. Those are good. You will like it. And when I was very, very little, uh, elementary school, we had to have a snack, but when the mother gave me four pennies, I always go to the eye shop to get like a red bean popsicle. Wow. Gongdong mm -hmm. is Hong Dao Shi Tiu. In Mandarin, it's Hong Dao Bing Bang. In English, it's red bean popsicle. <laughs> so I will be really happy to see all the mother. They love this popsicle and made for their children, made for their family, made for themselves. And then have a happy, happy snack time. Yeah. Especially in the summer. And the fathers can also make it for the mothers. Yes. You will love it. Always wanted to have this recipe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Uh, Cheers. Good. Mm. Mm. Good. Tastes like my childhood. Cheers. Cheers. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Oh. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. I love you too. Damn, yeah, this is like my childhood. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you like the popsicle? Mommy made for you, Paul. Oh, Mother's Day. Say. Thank you. <laughs> you say Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Wow. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. A huge thank you to our walk stars and all of our chefs in the Canto Cooking Club.